Hi guys. It is a gorgeous Monday morning in the end times. <clears throat> it is a lovely Monday morning, August 14th, 2023. Sitting here enjoying my Save the Planet cup of organic coffee to start off another week. And uh, it is going to be a... Uh, an interesting week here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, I have a lot on my plate, to put it mildly. <clears throat> but before I crank up my work week, I just want to uh, <clears throat> sit here and have a coffee contemplation. I've, you know, I've really in, been enjoying this uh, little rationalist debate that's been hatched here recently at uh, on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. You know, starting out with all of this stuff about uh, UFOs and all of this and all of this new interest in paranormal phenomena and then I <coughs> retold that story of that haunted house <clears throat> that I lived in that people still think that I uh, was dealing with a ghost I've I, I, as far as I know I've never met a ghost in my life that was a poltergeist not a ghost but anyway we're not going to split hairs in the paranormal semantics <clears throat> so anyway I, the reason I enjoy this debate is because I still cling to the notion that I am a rationalist. I, uh, <laughs> I still claim to be in the rationalist camp. But, you know, just kind of like, you know, I am a lesbian trapped inside a heterosexual male's body. What I am is I am a rationalist who is trapped inside the mind of someone who has lived in a haunted house and has first-hand experience of a phenomenon that I cannot explain rationally. There is no rational explanation for a 16-pound bucket of water sitting on a floor launching itself across a room 20 feet, 8 feet into the air. There is no rational explanation for it, and there's no rational explanation, you know, for these secondhand stories. All I can address is the firsthand. All it takes is one experience in your life to threaten your little clinging to rationality. And so these rationalists who have never had a, a first-hand, direct, personal challenge to their rationalist worldview uh, can, can just smugly sit tightly. And then, of course, there's the other little problem uh, that, uh, you, you know, uh, I was, quote, abducted by space aliens for 22 goddamn years. Now, e e even I, uh, and it was a little bit of a, it was a little bit of a stretch, and it took me over 22 years. E e even with that one, uh, I have come up with the rational, the rational explanation that what that is all about, at least for me, and 99% of uh, this uh, UFO abduction experience is DMT. It is the this basically this brain chemical uh, DMT that we all produce, and it, it has something with to do with a DMT imbalance. Uh, that I 
that I suffered from that brought on these episodes, these bizarre episodes. But even though that's a rational explanation for what happened to me for all those years, it still does not mean that the space aliens that I dealt with are not, quote, real. And I have to face the fact that I get most of this uh, from Rick Strassman's uh, research that he details in his excellent book called DMT, The Spirit Molecule. Anybody wanting to understand the alien abduction phenomenon, at least as it applies to, I am guessing, 99.99% of the people suffering from it, the answer can be found in DMT, the spirit molecule by Rick Strassman. So th 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 this is where it really gets weird. The rational explanation of UFO, of, uh, of UFO abduction <clears throat> it, it still uh, forces a, a, a crack in the cosmic egg of, uh, of any rationalist. So I enjoy uh, being able to agree with both sides of this debate. When uh, it, you know, when people like Andy the Gardener come on, you know, with his, you know, I ran. A Andy the Gardener came up with the single greatest takedown of uh, you know people who believe in UFOs and space aliens <clears throat> uh, that that I shared a few days ago. Uh, I absolutely love it when a, a closed-minded uh, rationalist uh, just can't take it anymore from uh, anybody with an open mind, meaning, a, a, according to a rationalist, anybody with an open mind uh, is a raving lunatic. Now, probably the vast majority of times they're correct. Okay, you know the old thing you can you can only open your mind so far before your brain falls out of your fucking skull. Uh, it, it's a it's a thin line between having an open mind and, and being an absolute brainless, clueless fucking moron. It it it, it is a very thin line. Uh, the, the difference between being open-minded to possibilities versus being a, a brainless, clueless fucking moron who does not have the most fundamental grasp of nuance, discernment, and critical thinking. And uh, we, of course, uh, the, the, uh, the world is full of that shit, starting with every major organ organized religion on this planet, uh, on, down, uh, on down the spiral. So anyway, but I do love to be part of the, ba uh, of the debate, and so I shared with us... <clears throat> Andy the Gardener's rationalist takedown of, uh, of what he considers, you, you know, clueless fucking morons. Just anybody, anybody on any level thinking anything does not have a rational physical explanation is a clueless fucking moron. And I've been waiting. I say, okay, guys, I know somebody intelligent, some open-minded person is going to come along with a, an appropriate response to the Andy, the gardeners, and the colony of cells, and, uh, and the rest of my rationalist friends. And what I love, I, I, some of my, 
in, in my own circle of friends, I, 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 uh, I am friends with the most rigid left brain rationalist uh, that you have ever met. I, I go the full spectrum uh, on this. Uh, so, um, I don't get that triggered by either side. Good God, if I got triggered by either side, uh, since I am sitting here in the middle, still clinging to my rationality, but having to put a couple of asterisks out there. Uh, but we're going to hear from... We're going to hear from Anonymy, I don't know, A-N-O-N-Y-Y-M-I, Anonymy, I will just call him Anonymy. So, this is what Anonymy, again, I have no clue if Anonymy is male or female, this is what Anonymy has to say uh, to Andy the gardener, colony of cells, and anybody else uh, absolutely refusing to move the needle that there could be other possibilities that cannot be explained by rationalism. Take it away, anonymy. <clears throat> I don't doubt that rampant scientism, reductionism, and mechanistic attitudes toward the world are a big part of why our civilization is so destructive and collapse-oriented. There is something wrong with these butt-scratching apes made from cognitive limitations, biases, and errors who think they are the ones to happen to have a perfect model of reality and also know all the possible phenomenon from here to eternity. It's a kind of hubris of the planet eaters who will crush every wonder nature has to offer to get a pile of cash for their personal kingship. I think that is the same greed, the same chauvinism, the same fear of weakness, and the same inability to accept limitations or another being's viewpoint powering the bus of ultra-rationalism towards another kind of cliff. Can humans ever have healthier kinds of attitudes, or is that all just doomed to be plain old stupidity and delirious dreams. Maybe pissed off Harvey had a message to convey. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Anonymy. Yes, and the butt-scratching apes made from cognitive limitations, biases, and errors who think they are the ones who happen to have a perfect model of reality and also know all the possible phenomena from here to eternity. <laughs> oh, God. You know, it just must be. Uh, it, it, it 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 just must be sad to be so close-minded, uh, and, and never to be challenged, never to have uh, your 
your worldview challenge that you sit there and just build this, uh, this, you know, this wall of your own reality. It, it, it's, it's, I, it, it's, you know, this is reality. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Reality. <laughs> the very concept of reality and anybody on this fucking planet thinking they know what the fuck uh, any of this is about. There is not one human being walking on this planet who has any fucking clue what's going on on this planet. And that's the reality. Anyway, I gotta get out there on this spectacularly gorgeous Monday morning in the end times. Get out there and get to work and enjoy it and enjoy this reality, whatever the fuck that means, while I still can. And I suggest you do the same. Bye, guys.